Hopefully by now you are finding that preparing to teach lessons is becoming easier for you. You're seeing how formats are designed and following a script seems more natural. Features of the Rainbow Edition, the 1995 version of the program, may assist you in planning instruction and understanding the organization of your reading program. At the front of each teacher presentation book, is a table of contents which lists all the lessons in the program and its beginning page number. Also listed in the table of contents are planning pages. These planning pages appear every 20 lessons. Here are the planning pages that cover lessons 81 through 100 of Reading Mastery 1. They include a summary of skills covered up to that point in the program, a listing of specific skills, sounds, and vocabulary that are introduced during that lesson span, listed by lesson number. A chart listing the mastery tests and the skills tested during that lesson span. And also included in the planning pages are suggestions for expansion and enrichment of decoding and comprehension. These activities are designed to give children an opportunity to apply their skills in a different context. Activities are directly correlated to the skill level in that 20 lesson span. Later in this lesson span, a new exercise introduces question marks. Watch kindergartners as they sound out words from Reading Mastery Story 102 and do the introductory question mark exercise. Ready? What word? Me. Next word, get ready. Cat. What word? Cat. Next word, get ready. Is. What word? Is. Next word, get ready. Cat. What word? Cat. Now everybody move along until you get to the next period. Uh-oh, there's no period in the next sentence. There's question a funny mark. mark. Okay, there's a funny mark called a question mark. Everybody touch the question mark. There's a question mark in that sentence because it asks a question. Everybody, get ready to read that question. Sound it out. Get ready. How? What word? How? Next word. Get ready. Can. What word? Can. Next word. I. What word? I. Next word. Get ready. Can. What word? Can. Next word. What word? Z. Next word. Get ready. Cow. What word? Cow. Cow. Next word. Get ready. Cow. What word? Cow. Next word. Get ready. Cow. What word? Z. Next word. Get ready. Cow. What word? Cow. Next word. Get ready. Cow. What word? Cow. Next word. Get ready. What word? Me. Everybody get ready to read the next sentence. Get ready. Can. What word? Can. Next word, get ready. Me. What word? Me. Next word, get ready. Cow. What word? Cow. Next word, get ready. Six. What word? Six. Next word, get ready. On. What word? On. Next word, get it ready. The. Sound it out for me. Get ready. Me. What word? Me. Next word, sound it out. Get ready. Cow. What word? Cow. Next word, get ready. Six. What word? Six. Next word, get ready. On. What word? On. Next word, get ready. The. Sound it out for me. Get ready. What word? E. Next word, get ready. Cat. What word? Cat. Take a look now. Yes, 
Can a cow sit on a cat? No. Why not? Because it's too fast. Oh, okay. Here we go. As you present this exercise, you write down any words that the children missed more than once. At the end of this exercise, after children have read the story the first time, you have the children sound out and say each of those words until firm. Then you give individual turns. Read and study the exercise. The second story reading is done by reading words the fast way. Students also answer comprehension questions. Then students do a picture comprehension exercise. Watch kindergartners do that exercise. Here we go. Take a look. Who's sitting on who? The cat is sitting on the cow. Is that the way we talk? No. Give me the answer. Okay. Who's sitting on who? The cat is sitting on the cow. Now that's one way that to take the cow and the cat with you. Can you tell me another way? Raise your hand if you can tell me another way to take the cat and the cow with you. How should I? Make them both walk. Make them both walk. Good, Brianna. What would you do? Um, you get two um, leashes and put them on both of them. Okay, Peter. I'll carry the cat and let the cow walk by himself. Oh, okay. there's another answer, Lauren. After story reading, you give instructions to the group for independently completing their take-home worksheet. Keep your pacing brisk to maintain children's attention. Watch. Watch my finger. Get ready. A cat is on the cat. Yes, good reading it. Now, after you finish the take-home, you're going to draw a picture on the back here. Okay? Now, here are the sounds you're going to write today. When I touch it, you say it. Get ready. Oh. Yes, oh. What other sound you're going to write? Get ready. Yes. Next sound, get ready. Yes, I. Next sound, get ready. Yes. Next sound, get ready. Yes, uh. Now, everybody, you're going to read, or follow the lines and write the words. So, take a look. What word are we going to write first? Get ready. So. And follow the line and put it here. Next word. Get ready. Run. Put it down. Now, everybody, you're going to cross out this word today. What word are you going to cross out? And. Yes. And. Find all the ands and cross them out. Now you're going to circle the picture at the top of the page. Peter and Dexter, take a look here. Look at your paper. Every. Uh, you're going to cross... You're going to circle the picture in the box that shows what the word says. So what picture are you going to circle here? Get ready. Uh, a cat. So am I going to circle this picture? No. Yes. Am I going to circle this picture? Yes. So I'll draw a circle. And then you're going to finish. Close your books. Put your books in. Mark is in your book for the next story. We're reading for and tomorrow. For tomorrow. Take your paper and take your book. Tomorrow. And you may go to the table. Children should quickly transition to their seats to complete the take-home worksheet. Later, you or an assistant check over and provide feedback on the accuracy and neatness of the work before it is sent home. During individual turns for this lesson span, some of your higher performing students may be reading accurately but drag out saying words. You may want to start working on getting crisper, more expressive responses from those kind of students. I'll demonstrate changing accurate but drony responses. Now I'm going to call on different children to read a whole sentence the fast way. Everybody's going to touch the words. Now remember, if everybody's touching the words and the person reading reads all the words the right way without making any mistakes, it's going to be two points for the whole group. Okay, everybody touch that first word of the story. 
Great, everybody has it. Braden, you read that sentence. Uh, little fish sat on a fat fish. Okay, Braden read all those words correctly and everybody was following along, so that's worth two points for the whole group. Now, I'm going to show everybody in the group how you'd read if you were a storyteller, okay? And I'm going to give Braden an extra bonus point if he can read his words this way. Here's what those words said. A little fish sat on a fat fish. Okay, let's go for the bonus point. See if you can read it like a storyteller, like you're on TV, Braden. Go ahead. A little fish sat on a fat fish. Excellent. There's a bonus point because everybody followed along and he read like a storyteller that time. Good job, Braden, and good job, everybody following along. Now you practice changing dragging responses and awarding points. After children have had individual turns, then you present the sentence saying exercise. The children are to say the second sentence of this story at a normal rate and with expression. Remember, the exercise is not a decoding exercise, but requires children to remember all the words in a sentence. If children omit a word, say the words out of sequence, or inflect inappropriately, you immediately use a model lead test correction, emphasizing the missed feature. Have the children repeat saying the sentence until all the words are properly sequenced and the inflection is appropriate. After a picture comprehension exercise, you give individual turns. For individual turns, you'll call on different children to read one whole sentence. While one child reads, the others follow along. To increase the probability that all children pay attention during individual turns, you may award points for accuracy and following along. You can require students to whisper the words to themselves while the one child reads aloud. You don't use a signal for individual turns when a child reads a sentence. You let the child read at his or her own rate. The correction procedure is similar to the procedure for correcting an error made during the group reading. You say the word, ask the child the word, then signal for the entire group to sound out the word and say it. Finally, direct the child to go back to the first word of the sentence and reread it. I'll demonstrate all those techniques. Now I'm going to call on different children to read a whole sentence the fast way. Everybody's going to touch the words. Now if you all touch the words and the person who's reading reads all the words right the first time, it's going to be two points for the group. Everybody finger on the first word of the story. Good, everybody has it. Rosie, you read that first sentence while everybody follows along. Go ahead, Rosie. A little fish sat on a fat fish. Excellent reading. She read all those words right and everybody followed along, so that's two points for the group. Good reading. All right, now I'm going to call on somebody else. Everybody move your finger down to the next line, the next sentence. I'm going to call on somebody else, and remember, if that person reads all the words in the sentence correctly, it's going to be two points if everybody's following along. Okay, everybody's in the right place now. Jason, read. The little fish sat. That word is said. What word? Said. Yes, said. That's one of those funny words. Let's sound it out. Get ready. Said. But how do you say that word? Said. Again, how do you say that word? Said. Yes, said. 
Fingers back to the first word of the sentence. Good, everybody has your fingers moved. Good job. Okay, Jason, give it another try and be careful on that funny word. The little fish said wow. Okay, Jason, good reading all those words. So it's one point because the group really followed along. Now you practice correcting an error on individual turns and awarding points. The student misidentifies a word. Beginning on Lesson 94 in Reading Mastery 1 and Lesson 46 in Fast Cycle, quotation marks are introduced. Words within quotation marks are highlighted in red in the story. Turn to the lesson in your teacher presentation book and read through these exercises. Also find the story in the storybook. I'll demonstrate teaching the series of exercises. Notice that I emphasize key words and provide specific feedback to students. Everybody open your book to page 7. Good, everybody has it. Now look up here. These marks show that somebody is saying something. He's saying the word between these marks. These uh, marks right here show that somebody is saying something. He's saying all the words between these marks. Everybody touch these marks in your story. Good. Everybody has that. Somebody is saying the word between those marks. Everybody, look up here, touch these marks in your story. Good, everybody's doing it. Somebody is saying all the words between those marks. Now you're going to read the story and I'll ask questions. Finger on the first word again. Good, everybody has it. Sound it out, get ready. Uh, what word? Uh. Ah, good. Next word, sound it out, get ready. Little. What word? Little. Yes, little. Next word. Sound it out. Get ready. Fish. What word? Fish. Fish. Next word. Get ready. Sat. What word? Sat. Yes, sat. Next word. Get ready. On. What word? On. On. Good. Next word. What sound? Uh, but what's the word? Uh, ah, good. Next word. Sound it out. Get ready. Fat. What's the word? Fat. Fat. Good. Next word. Touch it, everybody. Sound it out. Get ready. Fish. What word? Fish. fish. Yes, fish. A little fish sat on a fat fish. Now I'll go down to the next line, next sentence. Everybody has it. Good job. First word, sound it out. Get ready. The. What word? The. The. Next word. Get ready. Little. What word? Little. 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 Next word. Sound it out. Get ready. Fish. What word? Fish. Yes, fish. Next word. Figure it out. It's a funny one. Sound it out. Get ready. Said. But what's the word? Said. Yes, said. We say said. Now we're going to find out what the little fish said. Get ready to sound out that next word. Everybody get your finger right there. Good. Everybody has it. Sound it out. Get ready. Ooh, wow. What word? Wow. Yes, wow. The little fish said what? Wow. Yes, the little fish said, wow. Move your finger down to the next line, the next sentence, everybody. Get your finger right down there. Good. All right. Sound it out. Get ready. The. What word? The. Yes, the. Next word. Get ready. Little. What word? Little. 
Yes, little. Next word. Sound it out. Get ready. Fish. What word? Fish. Yes, fish. Next word. It's a quick one. Get ready. Did. What word? Did. Did. Next word. Everybody has their fingers. Good, good, good. Sound it out. Get ready. Not. What word? Not. Yes, not. Next word. Sound it out. Get ready. Hate. What word? Hate. Hate. Next word. Get ready. The. What word? The. the. Move your finger down to the next line. The little fish did not hate the. Sound it out. Get ready. Fat. What word? Fat. Fat. Next word. Next word. Move your finger. Good job. Sound it out. Get ready. Fish. What word? Fish. fish. Yes, fish. The little fish did not hate the fat fish. Next. Next sentence. Sound out that word. Get ready. The. What word? The. Yes, the. Next word. Touch it. Touch it. Sound it out. Get ready. Little. What word? Little. Little. Next word. Get ready. Fish. What word? Fish. Fish. Next word. It's a funny one. Sound it out. Say the sounds that you touch. Get ready. Said. What word? Said. Yes. The little fish said. We're going to find out what he said. Moving down. Moving down. Okay, let's see. Everybody has that first word. Now we're going to read those words that are between the marks. Okay? The red words. This is what the little fish is going to say. Sound it out. Get ready. That. What word? That. Yes, that. Next word. Sound it out. Get ready. That. What word? That. That. Next word. Get ready. Fish. What word? Fish. Fish. Right. Next word. Here's one of those funny words. Sound it out. Get ready. Is. But how do you say that word? Is. Yes, is. Next word. Get ready. Mom. What word? Mom. Yeah. What did the little fish say, everybody? That. 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 Fish is mom. That's right. That fat fish is mom. Okay, good reading, everybody, and good answering those questions. You're going to read the story again, this time the fast way, and I'll ask some more questions. Remember now to stop when you get to a period. First word, everybody touch under the first word of the whole story. Okay, everybody has it. Reading the fast way. First word, get ready. Ah. Uh. Ah, that's right. Reading the fast way. Next word. Think about it. Get ready. Little. Little. Good job. That's right. Your fingers under the next word. Figuring it out. Get ready. Fish. Fish. Good. Next word. Sound it out to yourself. Reading the fast way. Get ready. Sat. Sat. Good reading. Next word. Get ready. On. On. Next word. Tell me the word. What word? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, good. Next word. Figure it out. What word? Fat. 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 Right. Next word. What word? Fish. Yes. Who sat on who, everybody? The, the little, little fat fish, fish sat on the, on the fat, fat fish. fish. Yeah, who sat on who? The little, the little fish, fish sat, sat on the fat That's fish. That's exactly right. Now move your finger down to the next line, next sentence. Okay, here we go, reading the fast way. First word, get ready. The. The, next word. What word? Little. Little, little. good, next word. What word? Fish. Fish. Good. Next word. It's a funny one. Remember how we say it. What word? Said. Said. And here's what the little fish is going to say. What's it going to say, everybody? Wow. Wow. Good reading. What did he say, everybody? Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay, now move your finger down to the next line, that first word. Reading the fast way. Figure out that word. What word? 
V. V. Next word. What word? Little. Little. Next word. What word? Fish. Fish. Good. Next one. Get ready. Did. Did. Next word. Get ready. Not. Not. Next word. What word? Hate. Hate. Good. Next word. What word? V. v. Move your finger down to the next line. Next line. The little fish did not hate the next word. Get ready. Fat. Fat. Next word. What word? Fish. Did the little fish hate the fat fish, everybody? No. No, he didn't. Okay, move to the next sentence. Next word. Okay, looks like everybody has it. First word, reading the fast way. Get ready. V. V. Good. That's the next word you're figuring out. Good, everybody. Get ready. Little. Little. Good. Next word. What word? Fish. Fish. Funny word. What word? Said. said. Here's what he said. Moving your fingers down, reading those red words between those marks. First word. Get ready. That. Yeah. That. Next word. Get ready. Fat. Yeah. Fat. Good. What's that next word, everybody? Get ready. Fish. Fish. Next word. It's a funny one. What word? Is. Is. Next word, get ready. Mom. What did he say? That, that fat fish is, is mom. And who said that fat fish is mom, everybody? The, the little, little, little fish. The little fish. Good for you. Good answering the questions and reading all those words the fast way. You practice presenting those exercises. Starting during this lesson span, duplicate copies of previously presented stories appear in the student's take-home workbook. They appear on every fifth take-home in Reading Mastery on every third or fourth take-home in Fast Cycle. Bonus stories may be used for peer tutoring, practice at school on accuracy and fluency with an instructional assistant or parent helper, and at home for reinforcement with adults or other children. The irregular words that are introduced during this lesson span are was and of. I'll demonstrate the introductory format for both words. You respond as a student. Sound it out. Get ready. Ooh, Again, sound it out. Get ready. Ooh, That's how we sound out the word. Here's how we say the word. Was. How do we say the word? Was. Yes, was. Now you're going to sound out the word. Get ready. Ooh, now you're going to say the word. Get ready. Was. Yes, was. That was good reading. Okay, boys and girls, here's one of those funny words. Sound it out. Get ready. Uh, Again, sound it out. Get ready. Uh, That's how we sound out the word. Here's how we say the word of. How do we say the word? Of. Yes, of. Now you're going to sound out the word. Get ready. Of. Uh, now you're going to say the word. Get ready. Of. Yes, of. This word is of. This part of the table is the top. Now you practice presenting and firming those irregular words. A major transition from sounding out to reading the fast way occurs during this lesson span. 
Instead of sounding out all words before reading the fast way, the children read all the words on some pages the fast way without first sounding them out aloud. On these pages, you present the list at least three times. The first time through the list, it's very important to give the group at least a three-second pause to figure out each word. Remember, if too little time is provided for the children to sound out the word, the lower performers may become discouraged and start guessing. Also, if you go too fast and then just repeat what word after only a few children respond, the lower performers can merely repeat what the higher performers say. The lower performers in a group might stop trying to sound out words and instead start imitating. Usually, you can tell how much time children need to sound out a word by looking at their mouths. Now, watch as I demonstrate monitoring. Okay, everybody, get ready to read all these words the fast way. And if you get it right the first time, it's worth five points. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Okay, figure it out. Take a good look. Get ready. Sick. sick. Yes, sick. Next word. Think of those sounds. Get ready. Gate. Yes, gate. Next one. Reading the fast way. Get ready. Rock. Yes, rock. Wow, everybody's sounding those words out to themselves. Good job. Get ready. Feel. Yes, feel. Get ready. Cow. Yes, cow. Wow, you got all those words right the first time. So how many points did you earn up? One, two, three, five. Five. Yeah, five. All right. One. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good job, boys and girls. Remember, when the children get all the words right the first time through a list, you should act very pleased. Make a big deal. React with enthusiasm to the children responding correctly the first time. You might also use points to motivate children to be accurate on their first response. Now you practice stating expectations for first time correct, pausing for thinking for each word, monitoring, and awarding points at the end of the exercise. Don't make errors if you're responding as a student. The second time through the list, you may give slightly less time for thinking before signaling. Also, as specified in this exercise, present the words in a different order. Watch and respond as a student. Okay, everybody, get ready to do these words again. Watch where I point. I'm going to mix up the words. Now, when you know what the word is, then you put your thumb up to tell me you've had enough thinking time. It's going to be worth five points again if you get all the words right this time. Okay, I'm mixing them up. Don't get tricked. Figure out the word. Get ready? Cow. Yes, cow. Think of the sounds. Figure it out. Thumbs up. Oh, don't put your thumb up until you know the word. Get ready? Rock. Yes, rock. Good reading, rock. Here's the next word. Figure it out. Thumbs up, good. Everybody's thumbs up. Get ready. Sick. Yes, sick. Next word. Figured out. Get ready. Gate. gate. Yes, gate. Next word. Get ready. Feel. Yes, feel. Good reading those words. And how many points did you get that time? Five. Five. Yeah, five again. Gosh, you guys are getting lots of points. One, two, three, four, five. Good reading that time, boys and girls. The third time through the list, you give individual turns. To increase student attention, touch the ball on the arrow, pause several seconds, then say a child's name. Remember, if a mistake occurs on an individual turn, you tell the group the word, have the group say it, they sound it out, say it, and then repeat the reading the fast way. Present individual turns to other children. Finally, return to the child who missed the word and have the child identify the word that was missed. I'll demonstrate. 
Now it's time for turns. Let's see if we can read all these words right. Okay, everybody take a good look and figure out this word. Okay, Betsy, get ready. Sick. Yes, sick. Good reading, Betsy. Okay, this is Rolanda's turn. Get ready. Gate. Gate. Good, Rolanda. Everybody take a good look and figure this one out. Jason, get ready. Rock. Yes, rock. Good reading. Sounding out this one to yourself. Maurice, get ready. Feed. That word is feel. Everybody, what word? Feel. feel. Yes, feel. Sound it out. Get ready. Feel. What word? Feel. Yes, feel. Now let's all read this word the fast way. Figure it out. Get ready. Feel. Yes, feel. Okay, we'll come back to you, Maurice. All right. Everybody have that word? Mary, get ready. Cow. Yes, cow. Good reading. Marv, take a good look. Get ready. Sick. Sick. Yeah, you were right on that one. Maurice, get ready. Feel. Yes, feel. You got your word right that time. Good for you. Now, practice correcting during individual turns. Be sure to praise children who do respond correctly. Here are the sounds introduced during this lesson span. V is a continuous sound and is to be held several seconds. V. O with a bar is O. Now watch as kindergartners respond during this sounds firm up exercise. When I touch the sound, you say it. Get ready. Yes. Get ready. Oh. Yes. This is oh. Get ready. Oh. Again. Here we go. Get ready. Mm. Yes. Mm. Get ready. Oh. Yes. Oh. Get ready. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Get ready. Shh. Yes. Shh. Get ready. I. Yes. I. Get ready. A. Yes. A. Get ready. Mm. Yes. Mm. Get ready. Uh. Yes. Uh. Good. Lauren, your turn. Get ready. Oh. Yes. Oh. Dexter, your turn. Get ready. If in addition to the library series and activities from planning pages, you wish to further expand children's experiences related to reading, you might want to consider another well-designed direct instruction program, Reasoning and Writing. The first level develops higher order thinking skills through stories that are read to children. Predictable story structures and memorable characters teach children to recognize story problems, anticipate characters' reactions, predict outcomes, and recognize story grammars. Creativity is encouraged by having students act out plays, tell alternative endings to stories, dictate stories, and participate in group writing projects. During this lesson span, significant additional story reading activities are introduced. After the children have read the story twice by sounding out each word and saying it, answered comprehension questions, and have done a picture comprehension activity, they are introduced to an exercise that teaches them how to find the period at the end of the first sentence. I'll demonstrate the period finding game. Everybody, turn your take home back to side one and look up at me and my take home. Everybody, we're going to read all the words in the first sentence the fast way. The first sentence begins here and goes all the way to the little dot called the period. So I just go along the arrow until I find a period. Have I come to a period yet? 
No. Have I come to a period yet? No. Have I come to a period yet? No. Have I come to a period yet? No. Have I come to a period yet? Yes. Yes, you found the period. Let's try that again. Have I come to a period yet? No. 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 Have I come to a period yet? Yes. Yes, you found the period. Okay, everybody. Put your finger on the top ball of the top line of your take home. Get ready to find the period for the first sentence. Go along the arrow until you find that period. All right, good job. Everybody found the period. Now you practice presenting that exercise. The reason that period finding was introduced during this lesson is that children need to understand the relationship between a sentence and a period before they do another new activity. Students read the words in two sentences the fast way. Find and read those exercises. Notice that step C says to give the children three seconds to figure out each word. So on the first reading of a sentence, be sure to give the children enough time to figure out the word. Don't do this. First word, get ready. Next word, get ready. Do this. First word, pause and monitor at least three seconds. Get ready. Next word, pause and monitor. Get ready. You may have to give children more than three seconds before saying get ready and signaling for harder words. That's no problem. Just redo each sentence and tell the children with no more than a three second pause can respond immediately on signal saying each word correctly and crisply. Remember, if the children make a word reading error in a sentence, even after you give plenty of thinking time, you correct them by telling the word, asking it, having them sound it out and say it, then having students return to the beginning of the sentence. If children have to reread more than two sentences, repeat the story from the beginning with unison responding. That means that higher performing groups may be able to do the exercises in much less time than lower performing groups. Practice presenting those reading the fast way exercises with corrections and firming. Story reading concludes with individual children reading one word from the first sentence. I'll demonstrate. Everybody, finger on the ball of the top line. Good finding, everybody. We're going to have different children read the fast way. But everybody's going to touch the words. First word. Good, everybody has it. Reading the fast way. Jason, get ready. Ah. Uh. Ah, good job. Next word. Everybody touching. Figured out. Reading the fast way. Maurice, get ready. Fish. Fish, good reading. Next word. Alberto, get ready. Made. Yes, made. Good job. Next word. Carlos, get ready. Ah. Ah, good job. Last word. Move your finger. Good. Everybody has it. Braden, get ready. Wish. Wish. Good reading. Remember to make it clear to the students that you expect them to be working all the time, not just when their name is called. Practice presenting individual turns. The individual turns exercise is followed by another new type of exercise, sentence saying. Find and read it.
The exercise is not a decoding exercise, but rather an exercise that lets children know it's important to remember all the words in a sentence and say them fluently with expression so that the sentence conveys meaning. Developing memory for what has been read and understanding that words have meaning are critical components of comprehension. The group should repeat saying the sentence until all the words are properly sequenced and the inflection is appropriate, like this. A fish made a wish. I'll demonstrate teaching and firming on sentence saying. Remember, the group has just completed individual turns at reading one word at a time. You can expect that it might be difficult for some children to say all the words in the sentence with appropriate inflection the first time. Notice how I correct. Good reading, everybody. Now say all the words in that sentence without looking. Get ready. A fish with a wish. All right, I'm going to take a turn. Listen to me. A fish made a wish. Say it with me. Get ready. A, a fish, fish made, made a, a wish. wish. Again, with me. Get ready. A, a fish, fish made a, a wish. wish. One more time. With me. A, a fish made a wish. wish. All by yourselves. Say those words. A fish made a wish. Good! You said all the words in the first sentence. That was good saying it. Now you practice. Later, after students have had several lessons to practice reading an irregular word by sounding it out, a format appears in which they identify the word first and then sound it out to reinforce their decoding strategies. Here's that later irregular word format. You respond as a student. Everybody, you're going to read this word the fast way. Figure it out. Remember, it's a funny word. Get ready. Said. Yes, said. Now you're going to sound out the word. Get ready. Said. Good. Let's sound it out again. Get ready. Said. But how do we say the word? Said. Yes, said. Good reading that funny word. Now, you practice that format. One kind of error children may make is on step E. When you direct them to sound out the word, they may sound out the word as it's pronounced. That is, when you point to the a ah in said, the child says eh instead of a. Ah. You immediately stop the children, do a model test correction. That sound is a. Ah. What sound? and then say, you've got to say the sounds I touch. Right, and you might remind them it's a funny word. Then you have students sound out and say the word until they're firm. I'll demonstrate. The one voice you hear will represent the one student in the group who makes an error at step E. Now you're going to sound out the word. Get ready. Ah, that sound is ah. What sound? Ah. Again? Ah. Yes, ah. Remember, you have to say the sounds I touch, and this is a funny word, so say ah when I touch the sound. Here we go again. Sound it out. Get ready. Sad. Good. Again, sound it out. Get ready. Sad. Now, how do you say the word? Get ready. Said. Yes, said. Sound it out. Get ready. Said. But how do you say the word? Said. Yes, said. Very good reading, said. 
Now you practice that correction. The other kind of error may occur when you ask the students to say the word. They may say the word the way it sounded out, said instead of said. You correct by saying, that's how we sound out the word, here's how we say the word, said. How do we say the word? After telling children the word, you go back and repeat both the sounding out and saying steps until firm. Don't leave the format until the children can do all the steps without an error. They can discriminate between sounding out and saying the irregular word. I'll demonstrate that kind of correction and firming. And again, you'll hear only one student, the one who makes the error. You won't hear the whole group. Now you're going to say the word. Get ready. Said. That's how you sound out the word. Here's how you say the word. Said. How do you say that word? Said. Again, how do you say the word? Said. Yes, said. Now you're going to sound out. Remember to say the sounds I touch. Get ready. Said. But how do you say the word? Said. Yes, said. Now let's sound it out. Remember, this is a funny word. Get ready. Said. But how do you say the word? Said. Yes, said. Good reading, said. Now in pairs, practice that correction and firming. The introductory irregular word format is usually followed by a format in which the children read all the words on the page the fast way. If during this exercise a child does not say the irregular word correctly, you correct by first telling the children the word, having them repeat it, then having them sound out and say the word until firm, and finally returning to the first word in the list. Watch. Now you get to read all the words on this page the fast way. Get ready. Hats. Yes, hats. Figure it out. Get ready. Will. Yes, will. Here's our funny word. What word? Sad. This word is said. What word? Said. Again, what word? Said. Yes, it's said. Now it's a funny word. Say the sound. Sound it out. Get ready. Said. But how do you say the word? Said. Yes, said. Let's sound it out one more time. Get ready. Said. But how do you say this word? Said. Again, how do you say that word? Said. Yes, said. Now let's read all the words again the fast way, and when you come to this word, you're going to say said. Here we go. Reading the fast way. Get ready. Hats. Yes, hats. Get ready. Will. Yes, will. Careful, this is a funny word. What word? Said. Yes, said. Good reading all those words the fast way. Practice that presentation, correction, and firming. The Reading Mastery and Fast Cycle programs have built a firm reading foundation by teaching children sounds and blending skills. This provides a structured strategy for accurate decoding. Up until this point in Level 1, all the words have been regular. They're sounded out and said fast the same as they're pronounced. As we all know, there are some high utility words in English that are not pronounced the same as they're sounded out. They're irregular words. They're pronounced differently than they're sounded out. Some beginning reading programs have children memorize these words. However, research and our own experience has shown that when beginning readers do not consistently use a decoding strategy, they are likely to guess. For example, calling the word was saw. During this lesson span, the foundation's sounding out strategy is not dropped for irregular words. 
Instead, a format with an extra step is introduced so that students have a complete strategy for handling irregular words. You've already used a similar format when you taught words like is and a uh, or a. Students sound out the word, you tell them how to pronounce the word, and have them say it. Next, the irregular word format firms students on the discrimination between how they say the word and how they sound out the word. I'll demonstrate the introductory format for the irregular word said. You respond as a student who knows the sounds but does not yet know the word. Sound it out. Get ready. Said. Again, sound it out. Get ready. Said. That's how we sound out the word. Here's how we say the word. Said. How do we say the word? Said. Good. Now you're going to sound out the word. Get ready. Said. Now you're going to say the word. Get ready. Said. Yes, said. This word is said. She said hello. This format allows students to continue to use the sound out strategy. The extra step simply provides the appropriate pronunciation. During later lessons, students will receive practice on sounding out, then correctly pronouncing the word until the association becomes automatic. Another advantage of initially sounding out irregular words is that it provides students with the key elements for accurate spelling. If a student knows the sounds in an irregular word, they can spell it. For example, said is spelled with a s first, then an a, i, and d. Now read through the irregular word exercise that I demonstrated. Notice that in steps D and E, the words say and sound out are underlined. That indicates that you will emphasize them as key words in your presentation just as I did. Also, like many teachers, you may find it helpful to call irregular words funny words or weird words or use any other label you wish that could alert your children that the word is pronounced differently from how it sounded out. Now, practice presenting the introductory irregular word format. Here are the sounds that are introduced during this lesson span. I is the only capital letter used in level one. It's the word I. I. K is a stop sound. Remember, don't say k, it's k. Here's a powerful firming procedure you may use when students misidentify sounds. After you do the usual model test correction by voicing over the error, then telling the children the sound and having them say it, you can use an alternating review pattern that gradually provides more delayed tests. Here's an example. On this page, let's say that an error was made on ah. I'd voice over and say ah. Then I'd say this sound is Ah, uh, what sound? Then I'd go to the sound that the group previously identified correctly. Then back to the miss sound. Then review two previously identified sounds and return to the miss sound. Then three previously identified sounds and return to the miss sound. If at any time a child misses the sound, I'd start the pattern over again. I'd also retest students later in the lesson. Watch. Get ready. Mm. That sound is 
Ah. Uh, what sound? Ah. Uh, Again? Ah. Uh, yes, ah. Uh. Okay, let's go back to this one. You know it. Get ready. Eh. Yeah, good. Our hard one. Get ready. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, right. Let's do two of them. Get ready. Shh. Yes, shh. Get ready. Eh. Yeah, good. And the hard one. Get ready. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, good remembering. All right. Three. Here we go. Get ready. Z Move is right. Get ready. Shh. Shh is right. Get ready. Eh. Yeah. yeah, good. Get ready. Ah. Uh, Perfect saying ah. Uh. Okay, now let's start the whole page over and get all these sounds right. And then you'd firm on the whole page. Now, practice that firming procedure. At Lesson 91 in Reading Mastery 1 and Lesson 44 in Fast Cycle, an exciting event occurs for children. They begin to read in storybooks rather than just in their take-homes. As in the take-homes, the story appears on one side of the page and the picture on the other side so that the children don't try to use the picture to guess at words or story content. The story reading procedures are similar to those you just practiced. Students read through the story twice by sounding out and saying each word, do oral and picture comprehension activities, but then instead of reading only two sentences the fast way, the children read the whole story the fast way. Remember, the key to successfully teaching this kind of exercise is to monitor and pause for thinking after students touch under each word. Then correct if students don't answer correctly, crisply, and on signal. Then repeat each sentence until firm.